This video demonstrates how to create the press fit simulation in finite element analysis. Here is an assembly of two parts. The first part is the shaft and second part is the hole. These two parts have the dimension of height 50 mm and they have the diameter of the shaft as 25.05 mm and diameter of the hole as 25 millimeters. Means there exist 0 0.025 millimeters interference each side. These both bodies are made up of steel material and they have the contact defined between them. The top surface and the bottom surface are rigidly fixed. There exists a frictional contact between the shaft and the hole. How do we do it? Create a new static structural file. Enter the name of the file. as press fit simulation. Double click on the engineering data. Select the material as steel. Select the unit for the steel material that is density to be in tons per millimeter cube. And the angst modulus of the material should be in MPA. Define the bilinear isotropic hardening property. Change the unit of the yield strength of the material in bilinear isotropic hardening as MPA and enter the yield strength of the material. Similarly, enter the tangent modulus. Now the material definition is complete. Pick on return to project. Now the geometry need to be imported. We have completed with engineering data definition. Right click on the geometry. Pick on import geometry and pick on browse. Select the neutral format file. In this case the format is .stp. This is an assembly file. The geometry is now imported. Right click on the model. Pick on edit. This will take to the simulation window. Observe the attach status is complete. 
In the geometry, you can observe two bodies are now imported. Right click on the body, pick on rename. Rename the second body to Now, there exists one coordinate system, which is X, Y and Z. You can observe, under the connections, there is a contact which is already defined, which says, the red highlighted surface defines the contact and the blue highlighted surface defines the target, which means, the shaft is extending outside. That is, the shaft is under contact bodies and under target bodies there is a hole. We want to create a contact which is frictional in nature. Hence, change the definition of the contact type as frictional. Enter the frictional coefficient value as 0 0.2. The behavior of the friction is to be asymmetric behavior. Under the advanced options, use add offset ramped effects so that the loading is gradual. Now pick on Analysis Settings. Under Automatic Time Stepping option, use ON. Enter the initial sub-steps as 15, minimum substeps as 10, and maximum substeps as 20. Switch on the large deflection on. Now, the solution analysis settings are defined. Pick on the frictional contact again. Select the formulation method. Currently, it is program controlled. Use augmented language method for the contact formulation. Contact definition is now complete. Apply the boundary conditions to the model. Right click on the structural, pick on insert, pick on fixed support. Ensure that select surface option is highlighted. Now under geometry, Pick on this face. Press hold control. Pick on this face. Two faces are now included in the geometry. Now pick on apply. The fixed support is now defined. Now update the mesh for the model. Right click on the mesh, pick on update. The mesh will be generated, which can be seen in the window. The meshing is now complete. Pick on the isometric projection.
Now specify the results which are of interest. Right click on the solution. Pick on insert. Pick on stress. Under stress, use one miss stress. Right click on solution. Pick on insert. Under strain, select equivalent plastic strain. Now proceed with the solution. Right click on the solution and pick on solve. You can observe the solution status window is now open. The mathematical model is being solved. And this is overall progress of the solution. The solution can be interrupted or stopped at any moment of time. The time for the solution depends upon the time steps which are specified. If the number of sub steps are increased, then the computation time is more. In this case, initial sub steps are 15, means the load will be divided by this factor. And the load will be applied gradually. If there is a convergence, then the problem will be solved in only 10 sub-steps. If the problem is not converged, then the solution will be iterated for 20 steps. Observe the overall progress. The solution is now complete. Now pick on the desired result. Read the magnitude of stress from here. The unit of the stress is here and the type of stress is equivalent stress. Similarly, pick on the second result that is plastic strain. Read the magnitude of plastic strain here. If a stress need to be seen in an individual body, then Hide the body which is of not interest. Observe the equivalent stress. Right click show all bodies. Hide the shaft. Look at the stress. Unhide all bodies or show all bodies. Set the isometric. Pick on the stress result. Play the animation. Also observe this whole problem was solved in one second. And the stress started increasing till 285 from 0. The time at the end of the solution is 1. In the tabular data with respect to the time, the calculation of the stress is specified. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel below.